Good morning everyone, I've just had my breakfast and gotten ready for the day and the plan for the day is to go and explore Osaka. There's quite a few places in Osaka that we want to see. We're gonna try and get everything done in one day and we're gonna have our dinner there too. So we're probably gonna get ramen, something quick and easy. We're gonna try our best to stick to the itinerary. But yeah, I am ready. So let's go and explore Osaka. There's a lot of um, places to eat, a lot of focus on fish, like a lot of focus on fish, like there's gigantic fish and sculptures everywhere, but it's quite noisy. I can imagine at night time this just getting wild, but it's fun. I think it's worth a quick visit, uh, but aside from that, we're going to head somewhere else now, now that we've checked it out. This area is very popular, I've heard that. Guys, what a treat! I've seen cherry blossoms in Tokyo, I've seen them in Kyoto, I have seen them in Hakone, in Yokohama, and now in Osaka. And later this week, I'm seeing them in Nara. Wow! They're starting to fall now. So we took some beautiful photos in this playground. It's got so many cherry blossom trees here just everywhere and they're beautiful now we are heading to namba yasaka jinja shrine um, i don't think it'll be a very busy area because i think we've just arrived and it's not as busy as other tourist parts whoa can you see the lion head wow okay Unlike Kyoto, Osaka isn't really known for the shrines or temples and this is probably why the Namba Yasaka shrine area was not busy at all. Compared to the other spots we visited in Osaka, this was peaceful and quiet and just offered a big contrast to the rest of the city. This shrine is also known as the Lion Shrine due to the huge lion head statue that houses the stage. That is where the shrine events are normally held and it's a popular photo spot. I think it's definitely worth a visit especially if you want to get away from the busier areas and I personally really enjoyed it. This area is crazy touristy. Like I have not seen an area in Japan yet that has this many tourists in it. It's pretty, but honestly, I have no idea where I'm going. So it's, it's a very touristy yeah, area. I wonder if um, a lot of locals come here. If any of you guys are from Osaka, please let me know if this is actually somewhere that you come to, I don't know, have a drink after work, or have some food, or if this is just a touristy thing. Dotonbori is the number one tourist destination in Osaka, so it almost feels like a rite of passage for a first time traveler to this part of Japan. Here you will find the street and the canal that are surrounded by the super bright neon signs and LED billboards. There are so many bars and restaurants in this area, the food of Osaka could just be its own video. Okay, 
um, I have to be honest, when I first came to Osaka, I was kind of skeptical because um, I just think it's a big city. But now I am impressed. <laughs> I'm really, really impressed. I don't know whether it's the canal. Are those cherry blossoms? I think there may be cherry blossoms in the canal. I don't know why I'm so impressed, but even though this is busy and lit up, it's so different to Tokyo. So, so different. Completely different atmosphere. The people are different. Um, they're more friendly and more open. We're gonna do the most touristy thing ever and go on this thing. Oh look, so we're on a boat in Osaka. So this will basically be a cruise up and down the Dotonbori River and it's very touristy but it's only 900 yen and I feel like for that it's worth it because you get to see all the sights and avoid the crowds um, and yeah I feel like the later it gets the prettier this area gets because now all the lights are reflecting off the water and it just looks kind of like I don't know you definitely feel like that you're in Japan but it's very different to Tokyo or anywhere else that I've been. I'm so excited. I feel like such a tourist right now. Everybody's waving at you. Hold up, look at this. super touristy but it was so much fun it was so much fun and I kind of feel rested now it's really weird but because I because I live and work in Japan when I move around Japan I don't really feel like I'm on holiday but today I feel like I'm on holiday I feel like I'm on vacation in Osaka <laughs> station right now um, to get some ramen to get some delicious delicious ramen
are going to Shabatan to get some ramen. Um, they've got vegetarian options here, as well as some vegetarian gyoza. And this will be my first time eating vegetarian gyoza in Japan. Normally, I have not been able to find it, so I'm excited to finally try it. Plus, it's got really good reviews on Happy Cow. So this is everything for today. Osaka was an amazing experience and I would love to go back again soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.